Dan alive right here. <laughs> Daniel's not live at the moment. It's <laughs> fireball. Yeah, hey, boy. Hey, your hey, turn, buddy. buddy. There's the camera right there. Yeah, bloggers everywhere. No, I'm all I'm doing any of that. <laughs> Wow, that's a lot. That's a lot. Crazy stuff. Uh, holy cow. What is this? Man, this is insane. Does it have brakes? Yeah. Yeah, it's got brakes. Tell me what this thing is, Siles. This is two Volkswagen fenders. And you think you can just snap them together? No, no. no. You got to do some welding, some beating, and some modifying to the to the mini bike frame. And and it's um, you know what? Who'd you get to stripe it? Because it's really good. You know, there's a lot of guys out there, but the one guy that I got is super flaky. Yeah. It's this guy. <laughs> I'm blocking you right now. I'm live with Fireball Tim. Or the ramparts we washed were so gallantly streaming. Still there. 
we're just having a good time. That's that's our job. That's right. Enjoy yeah. ourselves. How, how long have you been in the car world, in the car business? Well, uh, when I was a kid, uh, 1934, I was 13 years old, and we saw our first little gal jobs or hot rods go by, and I thought, what could be more fun than that, riding around in an open car like that? Oh, yeah. And which is faster than the big old heavy cars on the road because these are stripped down Model T's, you know? Right, right. And for very little money, you could be a hot rider. That's right. Yeah, you could buy a Model T for 5 or $10 sometime and drag it home and get it running in with simple uh, yeah. to work on. Take the fenders off, make it lighter. That, that was the idea, yeah. yeah. Right. On a Model T, it was 20 horsepower. And what did you what did you do to it, though, to make it faster? Oh, they, they, you could buy overhead valve cylinder heads made back east and yeah. uh, flat heads and this and that. Yeah. And we met Winfield, who was born in 1901. That was our mentor. He uh, he uh, used to win a lot of races with his Model T racing car. Right, right. And if he started grinding camps for his motorcycle in 1912, a one cylinder motorcycle. And then the cams were ground by hand. Right. And they, he got better volumetric efficiency and better breathing, you know. Sure, sure. And that was the first thing we learned from him was uh, volumetric efficiency. <laughs> wow, that sounds good. Is it that does. And uh, the more air you can get through the motor, the more fuel you can burn. Right, right. And Winfield had showed me his cam grinder, how he had built it. And uh, I decided I'd like to try that. Yeah. Uh, he showed me how the cam worked. In later years, he told me, I would have helped you if I knew you wanted to go into cam grinding. I should be able to stumble on this something. Even if I don't know what I'm doing, I might stumble on something. And that's exactly what happened. With uh, Isky, he's going to do an Isky uh, Isky pick. He's going to pick out his best uh, car or truck and uh, check out the show. Two incredible looking dudes right here. Ain't no question about yeah, that. Yeah, I know. It's kind of scary. I'm a little old for and, you. Uh, yeah, I know. I'm but, 80 tomorrow. Really? Congratulations. Or I'll, I'll say congratulations tomorrow. Yeah, absolutely. Good job, buddy. Thanks, brother. <laughs> Give me your name. Mark Ducharme. Let's rotate around Mark so All we right. can see a little bit of this 
this thing that you built. <laughs> you know, I, I, there's a lot of big motors in this show. That's true. But uh, when you have a very serious motor like yours, it stands out. Thank you. So tell me about this. This is a 1929 Dodge Brothers Coupe. And uh, the focal point is obviously the engine. It's a 452 cubic inch It's hard to see anything else. It, it's, you know? it's, uh, it is the it's, focal point. Yeah, very sure. cool. Very cool. And I wanted that fuel altered in your face, blown Hemi, and that's yep. what it is. That's it, what it is. How long have you had this? I've had it since 2010. I was a five year build that I finished at the end of 16. So, what kind of shape was it in when you first got it? It was hammered. There was just, it was just a shell of a body. Wow. Not much was to it. Yeah. And uh, it was going to be a rat rod, and I, I just couldn't pull something, myself to be a rat rod. Yeah, something happened. <laughs> Exactly. All right, we're going to get Ed and bring him over here because I know he'll love this. Awesome. His uh, Isky pick. Uh, it's hard. This is really rough because every single one of these cars is a piece of art, and uh, he's having a hard time. And he's 98 years old, so that's uh, it's a bit of work. Lazy, lazy man, walk like a, like a car person. 